Hey guys, Mr. Wahid of Hakia back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, install a regular SSD inside of a ASEN Nitro 5. This is the refresh model, which is the 2019 to 2020 model. The way you know that is because when you look underneath, it's just one flat bottom. The older version has two panels here, extra. One for the RAM, one for the hard drive. So that's why. It... So this one is all flush there's only one thing to it. show you how to open that in a second okay so the drive i'm going to be using for this is a samsung at the moment i've got two m.2s in now uh, go check out my last video i show you how to install one and go check out my ram video if you've not i'll show you how to install that as well so them two have been done now only thing needs doing is this now so at the moment i've got 1.5 terabytes of m.2 storage i got a crucial 2200 in which uh, is 512 gigabytes and then i got samsung qvo not qvo samsung evo plus the new one 970 and that's the fastest at the moment on the market in terms of samsung ones and the uh, crucial ones well the second highest at the moment the only one higher than that is the wd black which has a higher read but not right so that's about it so this samsung one is very very fast so yeah, that one's a one terabyte. So I've got 1.5 terabytes in total so far. And the way I've done it is the Samsung drive is my main drive. And the other one, the crucial one is uh, my games drive. So what I'm going to do with this hard drive is, this is another one terabyte. So I'll have 2.5 terabytes in total. So what I'm going to do with this hard drive is I'm going to use it as a backup drive or a mix of a backup drive and uh, what do you call it? other games as well like uh you know like uh, call of duty was on 200 gigs he needs so i don't want to put down one of these because it's too big and it's not really i don't really need the speed to be honest this is quite fast as well it's like six seven hundred eight hundred speed these are a lot faster three thousand three hundred read speeds and write speeds but uh that will do and 200 gigs of that so it'll leave me on 800 now these ones have already started getting full up because I've put all my games on it. So this is necessary at the moment, so that's good. And I don't plan to fill up all of them. I'm going to leave about 100 gigs on each one for spare, just for over-provisioning. And for performance, crucial one, the performance goes crap once you start filling up. The Samsung one's okay, so crucial one, I'm def definitely going to leave about 100 gig free or somewhere near that. Uh, Samsung one I'll fill up a bit more maybe 80 60 70 gigs free and then uh, this one same Samsung Samsung pretty good with this kind of stuff that they don't slow down as you fill up as much okay so I'm gonna quickly show you what you need you need your SSD regular 2.5 inch one uh, SATA 6 gigabytes which is the fastest for them okay and uh, Acer Nitro 5 they're nice of you now it's nice of them they uh, provide you this SATA cable with the motherboard connector so you should have that in that black box there as you can see and you also get uh, four four screws and there's already four screws plugged into this already in the expansion bay so what you want to do is take them ones out and uh, yeah i'll show you that now i'm gonna show you how to open this first i've already done an unboxing of this quite a few times now well this is my third one i've had so i've only unboxed it once because you don't want to see it same unboxing do you again three times so go check out the unboxing video of this if you want to see it i'll i'll do a speed test on this as well if i've not done it already i can't remember so yeah well that's once in this in there i'll show you how to initialize the drive because on the m.2 video i didn't show you how to do that so i'll show you that as well once i start okay so i'm just going to show you how to open the laptop now all right guys i'm just going to show you how to take this apart the laptop apart i mean so if you got the older version of the Acer Nitro 5, you'll have uh, two panels, one for your RAM, one for your hard drive, so you can upgrade them. So basically you have to take apart them first and then do this, what I'm doing now. But if you have the newer version, which is this one, all you have to do is take out all these screws. So there's quite a few, I'll just go through all of them quickly. Make sure you don't lose these screws. All you need for this is a normal crisscross, crisscross, uh, what do you call it? screwdriver so yeah okay and you are meant to have a warranty sticker right there 
but this one doesn't have it for some reason which is very odd to say this is a new laptop there's no point even contacting Acer because they couldn't even help me with my other issue so I thought oh, fuck it innit okay one off two off so you're gonna go around the whole laptop take out all the screws and just quickly take these out If you have any USBs in, make sure you take them out because that's what I had in. I had a USB Bluetooth thing there, I just took it out. Okay, this one up here. Take that out as well. Oh. This is why you need a magnetic tip. Helps a lot. Just in that situation where it was just spinning on the spot. Keep spinning it, there you go. Magnet helps. Okay, on to the next one, then we've got one in the middle there. Yeah, majority of these are like that. You have to magnet tip them out like that. Yep. And once you take the cover off, make sure you discharge yourself first to get rid of any static shock. Okay, down to the bottom. I don't have my tripod with me. Again, it's at the garage. Sorry about that. Oh, shit. Good thing I didn't leave a mark. have to be very careful with that. That's why I'm recording with one hand, doing the work with the other hand. So bear with me, guys. Sorry about that. I might just order the tripod, one for home, one for my garage. I'm doing a lot of work in the garage. And you're going to see a lot more videos, car videos, a lot more. I'm just very behind on my schedules, editing and shit. You're most likely going to see the Astronex, I think. Then probably the Sea Leon. Mm, what would I probably do? Uh, maybe SV after that. Cause that's the order of edited it in this one just keeps spinning come on there you go okay all the screws should be out now just show you all of them yep yep double check all of them yep before you talk to in on the case yep that's out that's out that's out that's out that's out that's out yep all up now if you have a thing to deliver it with it'd be a lot easier but uh or a guitar pick or anything like that but i don't so i'm just gonna Use my fingernails to try to get it in. So, mm, it's gonna be hard to show you as well. I might have to get something to deliver it with. I'm trying to think. This bit would be the best way to get in. Can you see that? Right in that tiny gap. It's creating an opening. You just wanna start from one corner, work your hand away all the way around it, till you make a big enough gap. I might have to find something to lever it with. As you can see, it's already started opening. I might just pause the video, it'll make it easier to do with two hands. So all you're doing is putting your finger tip to or whatever you're using, all the way around, all the way around the edge. This bit you'll struggle a bit on, but you just press a bit harder. Go around there, all the way around, and then pull it up. So I'll do that now. As you do it, you'll hear a couple of clicks of it coming out of place, which is good. So, so far, about this much can't do much without a second hand so i'm going to pause the video and then carry on okay as you can see i've got the whole bottom side now put open now i to the right side now this is the ethernet port just want to be careful with this bit took on a bit i'll come off there's a connector right there it's not a connector it's just a tab basically it'll click out of place when you get it out it's these things here can you see um, let me zoom in for you them things, that's what's making them clicking noises. So yeah, I'm just going to take that corner out because I'm definitely going to need two hands for that. So that's the most hardest bit on the thing. After that, you're okay. Okay guys, that was very hard work without a tool. So I recommend you get a tool. Especially these corner bits, they're very hard to get out. 
but I managed to get it out. So what I did was work around from there, all the way around there, up till there. Then I went up all this side, then I went around the back, went around that way. And there should be no wires on it here. To say this is a new laptop, look how much dust I've collected. Fucking hell, guys. Look at the fun. It's a brand new laptop as well. Okay. What the hell? Someone's been scratching that, bastards. Okay. So this is not connected by any wire, so you can get rid of that for now. I shall move that somewhere. Somewhere clean when I find the place. And then, yeah. Get everything here, as you can see. I'm gonna quickly give that a bit of a dust out. There's a bit of stickiness there, something. Fucking hell, that's a bit dusty as fuck. I've had this laptop for two months. Look how dusty it is. Especially there, look at that massive dust bunny. Really bad. Right, I'm gonna quickly give you a quick clean and then we'll carry on the video. Alright, guys, now that it's clean, uh, you wanna start taking out the screws. So you got the four screws here on the uh, laptop motherboard. Just take them out. So this is holding the cubby for the for the hard drive. So you simply just take it out. Make sure you uh, the whatever your hands. Make sure you touch metal basically, so you don't get any static shock on the any parts nearby, like the M.2, which is near your hands just now. Guys, we're on to the last screen now. Just taking it out now. And I'm gonna pull out the hard drive bay, the cubby, whatever it's called. Put it to one side for a second. And you wanna get your new hard drive. And then uh, you wanna put the new hard drive in the cubby. So I'll just show you that now. Get the new cubby. Put it in the hard drive, the hard drive in the new cubby. And that's about it. We're gonna put the new screws in from the laptop bag. I guess all the screws are in now. Them for you. And now we got them old screws there that will go mounted on here. But before we do that, I wanna connect this up. So all you're doing is getting this out. <clears throat> so this is all provided with the ACES stuff, like I said. And try to get this out without touching the ribbon cable as much. There you go. This is just a standard SATA 2.5 inch up. So all you're doing is connecting that up. Then you're going to connect it to the motherboard bit right there. Right next to the hard drive, that one there. That tiny slot there. As you can see, you just plug it on and then shove it in, which I'm going to do now. Now, as you can see, shoved in place. Now, <coughs> going to place this down. Leave it in place. So, where it used to be there. You want to back in place so it pops in. Pretty sure that's where it was, yeah. Does it not go any further down? Yeah, that's pretty snug fit. So yeah. Put it in here. Yeah, yeah, that's alright. Okay. So what you wanna do now is screw all these down and then you wanna put this connection in. Which simply just slides in like that. So that's the last thing you wanna do. You don't wanna connect it yet, you wanna put these screws on, so that's what I'm gonna do now. You're putting them back into the slots that you took them out of. Okay. Okay guys, that's done now. All you're doing is connecting that up. And uh, I should have said this before, but uh, I said in my last videos. Before you do any of this work, you want to discharge yourself. So touch anything metal. That's not metal, that's chrome. So that don't count. So make sure you touch any metal so you don't fry anything on the motherboard. So yeah, and then what the last step is literally putting this cable in. Which is, you want the gold side down. Oops. It's going to be a lot harder than I think. Oops. Right. This might be a bit harder than it looks. Maybe you want to put the cable in first. I don't know. 
So yeah, let me try. Not hundred percent sure. Maybe it's that way, isn't it? Yeah. There. It's not in yet. I just need to show you in somehow. That's quite fiddly that. But yeah, it's gonna take me a while to do it. Let me try use it. My hands shove in somehow. Sorry about that, guys. I was doing it wrong. So that's how it is. And you want to flip it up. That's why I wasn't going in. And then you want to put the connection in, which is my bad. So I'm going to have to put this back down again. I'm pretty stupid sometimes. Okay. So you want to get this, put it in place. So that's fully lined up, as you can see. Then clamp it down. Now it shouldn't tug up. Yeah, good connection. The gold side down. Yeah, that's it. Now you want to screw this back on. You can do it without it being screwed in. I mean, with it being screwed in. But I thought I did it wrong. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Uh, all you're doing, if you want to put this back together, you literally shove it on place and clip it in place. Go around the whole corner. Do that. You'll, you'll hear the clicks and then uh, you put all the screws back in which I've kept over here so you put all them screws back in that's it and then uh, I'll tell you how to initialize it as well so wait for that alright guys boot it up uh, let me just take my flash off for a second and make it easier to look at alright so the laptop's on now let me check my thermals thermals are very low as you can see if you've not seen the repaste video go check it out so on idle we're hitting 30 sometimes lower than that but this has been on before as i was playing on it so as you can see we're on 3.4 gigahertz which is not bad okay and just okay to, in, to initialize the drive all you have to do is go here go to search bar type in partition create and format hard drive partition as you open that you should recognize your new disk which it has so disk 2, as you can see I've got the old ones. So the ACSE, that's my other one. I've not renamed it, renamed them even though I should have. Okay, so disk 2 is your new one. You want to keep it as a GPD unless you're going to use it to boot with, then you want an MBR. But for now we're going to use GPT, it's just ex extra hard drive basically. And then, <clears throat> okay. Should be, yeah, there. Okay, disk 2. You want a new simple volume, full size, yep. Uh, since I don't have a CD drive, I might as well call it E drive. It just goes in order, C, D, E. So yeah, sign the following letter. Okay, you want to keep this all normal and then you want to label it whatever you want to label it. You want to make sure quick formats on. Okay, volume label, the other one's called games, the other one's called Acer. So this one I'll call uh, backup. Okay, next, done. Okay, new hard drive is ready now, yeah. So it should be visible and everything. There you go. So let's have a look now. Go to the main drive. Uh, Samsung uh, drive with all my Steam games on it. As you can see, half of that space is already gone. And Fortnite's on that, I think. And yeah. And then uh, that's my new backup drive. So there's the three full drives there now. So this uh, laptop is now future proof because uh, thermal wise, we're okay. Let me just check again. Yeah, plenty. Very good. To say we're in uh, summer heat right now, 38 degrees at night, very good. Under heavy load, we only hit 65, which is really good. That's with uh, nearly 100% GPU and 40%, uh, 60% CPU on games and stuff. So, yeah, it's not bad, is it? Used to get over, we used to hit overheating limits, which is 92 Pro Chart. Pro Chart means uh, where you should start slowing yourself down the processor because it's too hot. So, 92 degrees, we used to hit that. Now we're not even touching that. Okay, so th thermal wise, we're okay. Hard drive space, we're plenty now. RAM wise, we're very okay got uh 32 gigabytes as you can see plenty future proof 
and the more you have the more it can cache which means your system will be faster so say I open uh, say I open discord and then I exit out of it completely if I open it again it's already cached in the ROM from last time so it just open instantly it's a lot quicker same with Fortnite say if I put Fortnite in there and then close it off when I open it a second time it will be a lot faster because it's been cached okay uh, hard drive space we've got plenty RAM uh, CPU wise we've got up to I'll show you now mm, FIVR so we can go up to 4.5 gigahertz and my new under volt is 148 if you watch my under volt volting video i was a bit lower than that but that's my new under volt uh, 148 that's uh really that's the max i can go at the moment because 150 gives me a crash after a while usually when i do it'll crash you know when you crash because uh, it makes a weird noise it goes do 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 and you can't do anything okay and the uh, so 149 would uh, I could have tried 149 but I thought I'd rather be more safe than sorry so I left on 148 which is very stable for me on the idle and on the max load with power on with the uh, adapter on and without the adapter on you have to test all this stuff by the way okay and uh, core wise I was at 4 gigahertz before but uh, I've clocked it down for now as I was testing everything so I'm going to clock back up again to the max I've seen a uh, 4, 4 4.2 gigahertz of hit about 75 degrees it depends how much i want how comfortable i am with the performance versus the heat 70 is very low still but because i play for hours on end and it's always on my lap it's very uncomfortable for me at that kind of temperatures so at the moment 3.6 gigahertz that's plenty for me and it's fast enough as well so yeah so ram wise we're okay cpu wise we're okay gpu wise we're okay uh, hard drive space we're okay everything we're okay now and uh, temperature wise we're okay so this laptop's future ready for now for a long time i'd say another six years my last laptop lasted me six years it was a uh, 1.7 gigahertz two dual core which is quite mad so this is a big upgrade and that one only had integrated graphics but i did put extra chip in myself for that was very complicated and uh, the drivers are always had drive issues so this is very good now this will last me a very long time and i like it very good very good anyways guys thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel see you guys next time goodbye